This is a response to nuclear night as Trotskyite self-flandulation video regarding the use of violence as a tactic for Marxists. I do not know what bothers me more, that I actually listened to this garbage for the entire 7 minutes and 28 seconds, or that you have the audacity to call yourself a Marxist. A um, Marxist uh, of the Trotskyist uh, variety, and I'm also a feminist, so my, you, my videos are mostly about that sort of stuff. First, you admit to being a Trotskyite and a feminist. Trotskyism is nothing more than an ultra-left revisionist trend that serves the interest of global capitalism. And feminism is a form of petty bourgeois identity politics. So you are already off to a poor start. Secondly, your Trotskyism is the most logical explanation behind your claims regarding the tactics for how socialism is going to be achieved. But if you talk to people and if you really get the ideas out there, and you participate in all the movements, and you're visible, and you're always calling for socialism, and you bring up different demands at the same time, you know, and show how they're interconnected, you will win people over. If you really think that socialism can be accomplished by participating in all the movements and talking to people, then you don't know the first thing about bourgeois society, the tactics of revolution. And finally you lack anything resembling a scientific Marxist-Leninist analysis of how social movements are undertaken to begin with. Thirdly, you clumsily try to frame violence as something that's possible, but not a necessary tactic for the revolutionary overthrow of capitalism. It's a tactic that can be used at certain times, but... I don't know. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not saying don't use violence. No, <laughs> um, I don't like the idea of, um, you know, creating like a militia or something and seizing control of the state by means of a coup. I think that would be drastically stupid. This is false and you need to be corrected on this matter. Violence is absolutely necessary as the objective manifestation of class struggle. Whether ITS insurrectionary violence, or state violence, these are necessary modes of the class struggle that will undeniably take place for the victory of socialism. Fourthly, your premises imply that you support a mass movement rather than highly centralized cadres of professional revolutionaries. Try to organize workers and unemployed people and really um, participate in the mass movements and also participate in unions and really try to bring up the fact that this is Menshevism and automatically leads a communist party down the path of revisionism as ITS forced to concede in order to appeal to its broad political base again UVE proven that you are nothing more than a revisionist posing as a Marxist finally Please stop referring to yourself as a Marxist when in reality you are nothing more than a petty bourgeois anarcho-Trotskyite revisionist. Please refrain from making videos, and get off the internet and find yourself a husband. Honor him and give him children. For more information please visit www.freemediaproductions.info.